We've got a woman named Lisa who emailed us for a second date. And Lisa has a request. Okay. She says she just doesn't want us to think she's a bad person. <laughs> oh, no. Which means we are oh going to think she's gosh. a bad so person. So no matter what, you guys have to promise to not think she's a bad person. That's what she's asked okay. of us. Okay, I, you guys promise? I promise. My hand is over my heart. I okay. promise. I, you know, I no, don't like promise to make her. promises I can't keep. I mean, Be you. Nice. okay, here's the thing. By her saying that, she already thinks she's a bad person, so... <laughs> But she doesn't want you to think that. Can you promise not to think Be that? Nice, Please. Brooke. Okay. There, okay, we got to promise you. everybody. Because I read her email, and of course, I think she's a bad person. Oh, come I just on, don't want Jeff. you guys to think that. We can't all be in unison <laughs> thinking she that. Doing? So hopefully, back, she doesn't hear any of me oh. saying any of that. So, Lisa, you there? I'm here. I'm conflicted about being here, but I'm here. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> She definitely heard you, Jeff. Because Lisa, oh my okay, I hope you didn't hear no, me. No, she heard. Yeah, She's she on heard. the line, bro. She yeah, I, I heard. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Maybe pretend like you didn't hear, all right? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll cool. i to do that. I mean, I, I just got to say, I was disappointed in your email, though. Oh, no. no that's like the worst to be. Well, I feel so judged. Well, no, it's, it's not like that. It's just because, like, it's not as naughty as I had hoped. Oh, so oh. It's not as bad. Well, when you hear someone say, I've been bad, I'm thinking like, ooh, she's bad. Oh, Jeff. But no, she's just, it's just bad, bad. It's like a very vanilla kind of bad. Yeah. Okay. All right. So vanilla bad girl, tell us about the guy you want to call today. <laughs> I like vanilla bad. So his name is Jake. And I mean, you're already going to start judging me when I tell you where we met. Okay. We met at a convenience store. Oh, that's fine. I, I think that's fine. Yeah. Why is okay. that bad? Yeah. Why is that bad? I don't know. It just seems like a strange place to meet someone. But anyways, <laughs> I was just like running a quick errand to grab some beer. And it turns out like as I was rounding the corner, I was like, wow, there's only one six pack left of my favorite one. So you sprinted, right? Because you had to get there first. <laughs> I didn't really sprint because, I mean, I figured it wasn't like there was a crowd at the convenience stores. All right. But before I got to the case, this guy reached in and grabbed my beer. <gasps> and it's already become mine when I saw it there. <laughs> but when the refrigerator door closed, he like looked over at me and I must have had like I have no poker face. So my face <laughs> must have said like, oh, my my gosh, this is the worst thing that could happen. Oh, yeah. No it said WTF is what your face said. Yeah, what a probably. Probably. <laughs> so he said something like, you're going to get this. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's okay. You can have it. Oh, why'd you do that? Don't be polite. God, it's, Lisa. You're in a convenience store. You don't have to be. Is this why you think you're a bad person? Because you didn't stand up for yourself? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was trying to be nice about it and not make a big deal because even though it's my favorite beer, it's not like there was no other beer in the entire place, right? Yeah. But he was super nice and he was like, well, you know, if you're not busy right now, we could share it. Oh, oh nice. well, that's Ooh, look at that. That's, so you just went into the back alley of a convenience store and <laughs> pound beers with this dude? Well, this is where it gets to the vanilla bad. So <laughs> I'm not really spoken for, but I'm sort of not really spoken for. You're whispered for? I, that, that sounds like you're like... You know what I mean when you're like seeing someone, but you never had the talk about being exclusive, and it kind of feels like you're both in it till something better comes along. Mm -hmm. So you're sleeping with somebody else is what you're saying. Yeah, you got a side. But not exclusive. Yeah, but like without strings. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. So why is that bad? I don't know. It made me feel like I was a bad person because oh I did end up You went up to like, like a Catholic girls school, didn't you? <laughs> like everything you do, you're very ashamed of yourself. No, you those Catholic girls would do a lot more than just share. No, that's true. Somebody. That is true. <laughs> what? Why do you think you're so bad? I don't know. I guess because I'm in this sort of gray zone that's not really anything, but I don't know. So wait, what so, happened? So yeah, what did you say to the guy, to his proposal? So I said that would be great. And he, like, he took care of the beer. Like, we didn't go to the back alley. <laughs> 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 Where there was, like, a food truck with some picnic tables around. So we grabbed some food, and we were just, like, hanging out and had a couple nice. beers. It was it was really fun. That sounds like a good day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was, that was just the beginning, because there was a flyer up for bingo night, and it was that night. And it was, like, about to start. And he was like, hey, I don't know if you would be up for this, but do you want to go to bingo? <laughs> bingo night at the food truck? <laughs> No, somewhere else. Oh, okay. Else. It was near the food truck. It was near the food truck. Oh, okay, near the Dude, food truck. like the community center or something. That's awesome. Look how excited Brooke is for the bingo. Portion. I know. <laughs> Shut up. Wow, that sounds golly swell. But for real, that is such a refreshing change from just all the stupid online dating yeah. stuff, right? I mean, it was so much more fun. And there was one little awkward moment because I did get a text from Mr. Grayzone. 
Uh-oh. And it was like, where are you with the beer? So I had to check back really fast. Like, oh, sorry, oh, change no. of plan. Oh, you were getting beer for you and the other guy exactly. and ran into this new one. New guy's definitely an upgrade if that counts for anything. Oh, okay, okay, that is definitely, like, I was cool with you yeah. <laughs> with you dating other people, but not when you're currently on a date yeah. with someone. Yeah, yeah I take like, it back, Lisa. You are bad. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> well, that date hadn't actually started yet. So, I mean, technically, there was just, like, a little overlap. So did you make <laughs> it back to Gray Zone's house after bingo? No. <laughs> Liar. What happened? So bingo was super fun, and like there was one really awkward moment, which is where I think everything went south. What was it? He said, this was so much fun, um, I'm going to head home, my place is this way, and kind of just gestured, and okay. I said, oh, is that like an invitation? And it was not an invitation, which oh. he made very clear. <laughs> wow, that was a big jump from you, for yeah. sure. It was, but I thought it was cute and funny, and apparently it was really not cute and really not funny. And we've texted a few times since, and that's kind of where it all is right now. Okay. okay. Can I just ask, where's the situation with Mr. Gray Zone? Well, that isn't really a thing, right? I mean... Sure, uh, all right. I, I if you say it so. It was, though. It was a thing. I mean, we never had to talk about not seeing other people. So, I mean, that's okay, right? Sure. I mean, at least sure it is, know. Lisa. Yeah, everything's fine. <laughs> All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a song. We'll come back and try and get your second date if you can stop yourself from being too bad in between. <laughs> Okay, I'll, I'll try. She may find another radio show while I she's know, on yeah. and then just leave us oh, all together. We're the gray show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hold on, okay, Lisa? We're gray. If you're just tuning in for the second date, you're in luck because mm. we've got a bad girl on the phone today. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Lisa is her name, and she is so, so bad because she met a guy named Jake at one of the baddest places around, a oh. convenience store. Oh. Stop jamming to this. Yeah. Really? Maybe we should tune this down because we're going to do some bad things when we listen to this. <laughs> but she met Jake at a convenience store when they were both going for the same beer. Mm -hmm. But Jake got to it first and he offered to split it with her. They went to a food truck, went to a bingo hall after that. It's That's where all the bad girls go. <laughs> It's actually a really cute and romantic thing. It is. It's actually a very sweet story. <laughs> and at the end of the night, there was an awkward moment where Jake said he had to go home, back to his place, uh -huh. and Lisa thought that was an invitation. Like, oh, are you yeah. saying I should follow you there? And Jake was like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah. I just got to go. I'm going to bed. So a little awkward there, but uh -huh. Lisa feels bad about how it all played out. Why? Because she has a gray man. Mr. Gray Zone. Mis yeah. yeah, Mr. Gray Zone is a guy that she's kind of seeing, kind of not. Yeah. Like, it's who, not really anything. Who, right. she was buy who she was buying the beer for, but that's another story. Right. Right. We're focusing on Jake yeah. and bad girl Lisa. Yeah. All right, Lisa, you, you ready to call him? I mean, I need to know what happened or what's going to happen. So, yes, let's do it. Okay, I'm going to dial Jake's phone number right now. Here we go. Hello? Hi, can I speak to Jake, please? Uh, I think you got the wrong number. There's no Jake there? No, this is Tom. Who are you looking for? Uh, well, okay, guys, we should just hang up. Let's hang up the phone right what? now. Wait, hold on. What? Wait. Why are you... Right hold now. on. Um, I'm so hold... Uh, wait, what did you say? Tom is your name? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Tom, my name is Jeffrey from the radio show, Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. You guys, seriously? Uh, please Someone stop. gave us this number. But no, please, seriously, you guys, can you just hang up the phone and I will tell you what's going okay. on? Okay, guys, can we put no. her down? Sorry about that. So, yeah, we're doing something called a second date, and we're calling you about a woman named Lisa, who you probably just heard a second ago. Do you know Lisa? Yeah, I know Lisa. Do you remember meeting Lisa at a convenience store, and you guys shared a six-pack of beer, and went to a food truck, oh spent God. some time in a bingo hall? What? No. None of that's ringing a bell? No, that is not how Lisa and I met. How did you meet Lisa? We met through a friend at a party. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Convenience store? What? Did, did no, she I'm just really give us the wrong phone number? Like, I you're just know. a I'm... friend of Lisa's then? You're just like a buddy? Her. 
we talking about the same Lisa here? I don't understand. What let's is going just, on right Obviously, now? you heard her, that she's on the other line listening. Usually, we wait to tell you that. But let's just bring her back on. <laughs> Lisa? Um, yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Say well, hi what's, to Tom. Yeah, what's going on? Yeah. Uh, Lisa, well, I don't want to say a whole lot right now. Why are you but, my um, number to the radio? I, yeah, I'm really sorry about that, Tom. Um, so... I didn't mean to give you Mr. Grayzone's number, is maybe the way to put it. Oh. <laughs> Who's Mr. Grayzone? Oh, Tom, you and Lisa are, like, seeing each other a little bit, huh? Yeah, and Tom, we can totally talk all about this later. Like, I'll see you later, and we can have a nice <laughs> chat. Oh, that's a yeah, big mistake. No, 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 no. No, we're going to talk about this right now. What is going on? Are you, like, trying to embarrass me on the radio or something? What oh, is this? Oh, right. What is? <laughs> <laughs> no, Tom, I'm really sorry. It's just, it's a big mix-up, and, um, I mean, I don't know. I guess there's never a good time to have this conversation. <gasps> um, look, I, um, Tom, I met someone. You, you met someone. What? And this is how you decide to tell me in front of, like, a million other people or whoever's listening? This is listening. not this how is I met so We do not have that many listeners. You give us way too much credit. Lisa, I'm really sorry. I didn't. Cool. I, I wanted to have a private conversation with you, which I think we could still do, right? We can meet. We can talk. Yeah, we can have a private conversation anytime. We live together, Lisa. <gasps> Whoa. What? Um, hold wait a up. Minute. Hold on. Are you like live in boyfriend girlfriend situation? Well, he's kind of not telling the truth. I mean, yeah, I spend the night a couple few times a week. We do not live together. I hear all the time. You have a suitcase with all your clothes in it. I could throw it out the window right now. Oh, they were like almost moving in together. What? That's that weird in between yeah, I mean, not really. Oh, I mean, no. you never wanted to be official. So I figured if we're not official, it's okay to meet no. other people. What are you talking about? I'm not seeing other people. I assume you're not seeing other people. Mm. You never bring it up that you want to, like, be official or anything. <laughs> yeah, but you never brought it up that we're official. And, I mean, it's awkward for girls to do that because guys feel so pressured. So I just figured oh, that this, we weren't is this official. not awkward? You want to you wanna bring it up on the radio <laughs> instead? <laughs> Shut up. Okay, wait, hold on. Tom, how long have you and Lisa been not official? We've been dating for, like, six months now. <laughs> Wow, that's oh my not Lisa, that's just like that's like a grandfather clause. Like if you're together for that long, it's official whether you say it or not. Yeah, listen to her. Whoever that is, I agree with her. <laughs> <laughs> Brooke has had a lot of Mr. Gray's in her life. Yeah. Who is Mr. Gray? Is that like a third guy you're seeing? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's you, dude. That's a code name. <laughs> I'm a code name now. Wow. You, you wow. Are yeah, you're like so. a secret agent. You're cool. <laughs> Oh, my God. She went out to get beer for you guys because you were basically living together. That's Brooke, why. you cannot take his side. We, we're not basically living together. A couple few nights a week, I was at his place, and we never had the talk. But you outed yourself, and Girl, he has a complete different story. you know you were doing something wrong. You said you felt bad, and this is why. Yeah. I mean, look, it just seems like, Tom, like, obviously, we're kind of overdue for a talk, so maybe we should talk. Uh, maybe. <laughs> you and me. That time limit is up. Yeah. Oh. Hey, hey, Tom, if it makes you feel better, the guy she went out with isn't calling her back, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you sure you had the right number, or were you sure you just didn't give him my number instead, and he's going to call me later, maybe looking for a date? Uh -oh. Jeez. <laughs> well, it sounds like you guys have a lot you need to talk about, sort of sort things out, and I think maybe you could do that when we send you guys out on another date. We'll pay for it. <laughs> together <laughs> well we can still pay for them to go out and talk things oh through my gosh what do you say tom tom like listen it's not a bad idea i mean i think that we should just like figure out where we're at and what we're doing and going out on a nice date would be a cool way to do that yeah. <laughs> maybe this oh mistake God. was meant to be this is the final step that pushes you guys into the beautiful harmonious relationship that you clearly have <laughs> or it's a free steak dinner on a breakup night there you know you yeah, yeah. Clearly, we need to talk some things out here. Jeez. Oh. So that's a yes to a second date. <laughs> Technically, it's not a second date, but yes. Yay, All right. Okay. Lisa, you up for this? Yeah, I'm in. Awesome. All right. All right. All right. I mean, as long as it's just me and you and not whoever all these other guys are. <laughs>
Okay. All right. Well, there's only one other guy, and his name is Jake. And honestly, I mean, I think maybe we should reach out to him too. What? Oh, what? what? I, why? Why would you want that? Because that's why I got in touch with you in the first place. You already know this. Mm-mm. I feel like you lied to us. I don't think you deserve it. Lisa, we're not going to call Jake for you again, okay? Mm-hmm. This is like prison. You only get one call. <laughs> All right. Welcome to our yep. show. Yep, you're in love. Prison. So you're stuck with Tom. Deal with it. I guess that's fair. Yeah. <laughs>